Welcome back. As you can see, we are at our next location. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. It was it, w it was pretty time consuming. We had to do a bunch of running around all in the morning to get out here for That's your video. Crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. <clears throat> so this time, well, this time we board a charger, so the phone or anything dies, we got everything we need. Should be better this time. Should be. Uh, yeah, we're on top of the hill. We'll show you in a sec where we're at. We're gonna do some nice drone footage. We get Stevie over the drone after we start setting up. Yep. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the, the notification. notification. And hit the like. Because if so you like don't you see us again. Yeah, because if you don't, you might not see us ever again. <laughs> huh. yeah, right. Anyways, hope you enjoy the Ontario Canadian version of stealth camping. We are in the city of London and we're gonna go all over the city and camp every which way we can. Wherever. But when this, it gets warmer. Yeah, we've got to wait for the warmer weather because stealth Yeah, and, and it's just kind of quick camping type stuff. If we get let's if somebody decides a like, you know, we're in the wrong place to be camping. We'll just move. We'll just move. But right now, we don't want to have to do that. It's too irritating, right? So, anyway, so, here we go. go. You guys know what time it is. Do you know what time it is? So, guys, last time we made a mistake. We were on a, a wooden boardwalk. It was very painful. Tried to get to sleep. I'm going to put these underneath us this time, and hopefully that helps. We're also on the dirt floor this time. It's not as hard. Let's get to it. Right, guys well yeah i guess we got the front a little bit lopsided on the top there but hey whatever we got her set up now we're gonna go to walk around get some better shots for you guys uh there's the other part of the camp fire pit there's our little uh privacy blocker there mm -hmm. camo tarp i'll show you from the other side quickly we're up top see told you we'd be here there it is so if you're coming from this way, you might have trouble seeing it right off the hop, but that's what we got so far, guys. We're going to be coming back. We're going to do some cooking and hanging out. show you our, our din din tonight it's gonna be a little bit different from well not much it's basically the same thing as last time with different food different so yeah we got let's show them exactly what this is so for those who thought it was wisey wise ready wise for ten dollars this one's beef and noodle this one's like a beef stroganoff and then we got they're not hungarian sausage this time they're something different they're like I can't remember the name of them. they're even packaged Look at this. Meat. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll take a look at it quickly. There. Oh, smell that. Man. Mmm, yes. yummy. Yes. That smells yes. good. Yes. And they're smoked. I know that much. I just don't know what, where they're, what country they're from. Like last ones are Hungarian. These ones are something else. There they are. So that's what we're going to be eating. For Din Din. Then we're going to take you through some trails tonight. We're going to actually succeed this time. And also, a live stream. Excuse me. Come yeah. your way. Be prepared. Time to eat. Well, good evening, folks. <laughs> Look at this. We changed everything a bit. Because it's still too windy. We got our fire going. We're ready to cook. We're just, we're just getting to sit down and cook some food and eat. And then we're going to hike some trails. So, stick around, and we shall be right eating right, yeah. very soon.
guys. So uh, we've cooked up our food now. We had a little bit of a problem there for a bit. The wind was really bad, so it took yep. us a lot longer. <laughs> still be a bit. More than last time. Sure. But we're on schedule now. Yep. On schedule. We're on schedule. So we're gonna we're gonna divvy up some of this beef noodle. All you do is boil water and pour it in there. Make sure you boil the water. We learned that last time. Boil it. If you don't boil it, those noodles are still crunchy, and you gotta stir it and shake it. Because if you don't move it around, it stays in the clock. Noodles and beef. But yeah, we're groovy. Nice and warm in the tent. It's actually nice in here. It's not too cold. Um, it's cold outside. There's no doubt about it. What's that smell like? Are you stroking up? Kinda? Not quite, but yeah. That smells all right. It smells, it does. It smells like a uh, homemade brief stroganoff, like a goulash. Yeah, right? something like that. Yeah, we have beef goulash. Here, can't really, hey, we'll, we'll divvy it up and we'll show you when the one's in the bowl this time. Yeah. Here, you want to do the divvy? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't, divvy, I guess it's kind of pouring, right? Yeah, but I don't need a huge bowl of it right now. I'll try it out and see how it tastes first. Oh, look at the noodles, those are good. Yours. Look at these guys. These are smoked sausage of some nationality that I cannot remember, but I will have to look the next time. I think it started with an S, didn't it? I think. Yeah, it was an S. Something like that, yeah. Like that. Don't know. They're going to be good, though. We know they are. Got more. No, that's good for now. We'll try it. Yeah. I'm sure we'll finish that bag before we know it, but we'll try it first. There it is. Almost dripping everywhere, but yeah. It's got like little chunks of beef in it and stuff. Is it good? Oh, you're brave. Is it better than the last one or what? Hmm? Is it worse than the last one? The other one was better. Chili Mac? Yeah, the Chili Mac was better. Well, I like chili. Chili's good. Not bad. Not bad. It does taste like... Like a beef stroganoff. If you want my opinion. And taste wise, it's like a beef stroking off. So good to the knees. We're gonna go into step two of this eating procedure here. I'm gonna be brave. And try this hunk of meat right here. Hey bun. Ready? It's alright, I did. Is it good? Not bad. How do we go and throw away? Holy shit. Whoa. The wind's crazy tonight. Mm -hmm. Now that, that's a good sausage. Wow. Definitely tastes different from the last one, but it is freaking good. Yeah. These are from like a butcher shop. They're not from like a grocery store crap garbage. These are the real deal. That's not good. Yeah, guys. Um, so this is the the dilemma this morning. We just zonked out last night. We just went hunkered down and went to sleep. But as you can see, it's not very nice outside. And we gotta pack this tent up like this. Damn it. I woke up at five this morning. Pouring rain. <laughs> like seven, wow. Last night was pretty stinking cold, I'll tell you guys. I um Tossed and turned all night, literally. So it was cold. Maybe propane heater isn't such a bad idea. I'm starting to think it's not. Because even, like, you know, for the for spring, we got cold nights still. All through May, we got cold nights. Yeah, we're going to pack everything up here. And uh, probably head out. Because we're going to get drenched if we hang here. But, uh, yeah. Bottom of the tent's starting to get a bit wet. Muddy. No good. Time to get packing.
we got her uh, solved. Problem solved. We're all packed up. Took us what, 20 minutes? Well, that ish. Not too bad. A little bit longer than normal because it was wet. We didn't want to go track mud with us everywhere. It's kind of hard not to. Oh, breeze is chilly. Yeah, it's the, it's the wind. If that wind was not here, we'd be groovy. But we're going to call it a day already. It's early. Um, we're going to get out of this park here momentarily. And then, uh, yeah, we'll upload the video and hope you enjoy it. But uh, we'll walk out here and I'll give you some quick shots of everything. It's just beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you. 